Jambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wangu mali popote ulipo niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba hubweri wa hafya na jumamosi yako inaendelea kwa njia iliyoshwari kabisa mtazamaji habari ambayo tumeipokea sasa hivi maafisa wa polisi wa KDF wameweza kufamiwa na uh, civilians uko kaundi ya Baringo na wakaweza kushambuliwa kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen KDF officers attacked by armed gunmen in fierce shoot out naona mtazamaji Two armed men staged a uh, there in Abush on Friday attacking a truck full of Kenya Defense Forces KDF soldiers in Marigat, Baringo County which uh, culminated in one of them uh, sustaining injuries in the process. According to the police report filed under OB, the the truck was held into Arbal Primary School as the as part of the government's effort to renovate schools that has been vandalized by bandits in the North Rift region since June the report the, the police report det, details uh, that the KDF officers vehicle approached the uh, Embosos Road junction it was obstructed by two armed civilians In the response the KDF officer fired warning shots into the air but the armed civilians uh, returned fire sparking a fence shoot out. Unaona mtazamaji hiyo ndio habari ambayo imetokea huko kaundi ya Mbaringo maafisa wa polisi walikuwa ama wa KDF uh, kama vile umeona tu ama kama vile umesoma hapo walikuwa wanaendelea ku shule ambazo sime eh, aribiwa na bandit ambao wamekuwa ni tatizo kubwa sana hapa injini Kenya sana sana uko Baringo na sehemu zingine uko mahali ambapo uh, Profesa Kithure Kidiki amekuwa akionya kwamba kila mtu ambaye anamiliki bunduki ambayo uh, ama amiliki bunduki ambayo ajapewa na serikali aweze kurudisha mara moja kwa sababu uh, watafanya huchu. in recent weeks indiri ya CS Kidure Kidiki has encouraged residents in the region to surrender illegal firearms offering amnesty and support for those willing to reform and reinstate into society Nona Sofia Kitule Kidiki amekuwa akiwahonya kwamba warudishe zile firearms ambazo ni illegal ambazo wamemiliki eh, lakini pia akasema kwamba wale ambao wanataka kureform basi ataweza kuwasaidia lakini inaonekana kwamba maneno yake Profesa Kithure Kidiki awasikilizi kidogo inaonekana kwamba uh, awana uh, ama awasikilizi kabisa maneno ambayo Profesa Kithure Kidiki anazungumza kwa sababu kufikia sasa bado bandizi wanazidi kuwa matatizo kubwa wanazidi kuwafahamia watu lakini pia uh, mambo yanazidi kuwa uh, ama insecurity inazidi kushuhudiwa uko Baringo na sehemu zingine na ndio maana mtazamaji wa Kenya wengi wamekuwa wakimwataka sana uh, Rais William Samoe Ruto kwamba uh, kwa sana sana kuhusu uh, wale maafisa wa polisi ambao walipelekwa uko Haiti wakisema kwamba hapa nchini Kenya kuna tatizo kubwa sana ya insecurity sana sehemu kama uko Baringo na uko Baringo ni gome yake ya kisiasa kwanza na sehemu kama Baringo bado watu wanazumbuliwa na bandits, watu wanauliwa, watu wanafahamiwa usiku, wanafunzi wanafahamiwa akiwa shule. So kuna kila dalili ya kuonesha kwamba kuna insecurity huko Baringo. Lakini sasa watu wanamwataka William Mrutu akimwambia kwamba badala ya kwanza kudili na insecurity ambayo iko hapa nchini Kenya, wewe mbona una na unataka kusaidia watu ambao wako Haiti? Badala ya kwanza au KDF ambao uniwatuma Haiti wachungulike na bandi ambao wako hapa Baringo wahakikishe kwamba wamewamaliza wahakikishe kwamba insecurity iko sawa ama hakuna insecurity huko uh, kaundi ya Baringo haiko tena kwa sababu kuna insecurity sana huko kaundi ya Baringo kwa sababu watu hata ukitembea kwa barabara uwezi ukajua kwamba kuna bandi ambaye atatokea kwa barabara na kushambulie so hiyo ni insecurity ambayo iko Baringo na William Mrutu anatuma maafisa wa polisi Haiti ni jambo ambalo wa Kenya wengi wamezungumzia na kusema kwamba William Ruto anafaa kubadilisha mawazo yake na badala ya kupungangania sana ku kusupport inji za nje kwanza hadili na watu wake akisha kwamba watu wake wako sawa ndio aanze sasa kushungulika na kutuma watu maafisa wa polisi nje ya Kenya Naona mtu maji kwa sababu ni jambo ambalo nimekuwa likitokea hapa nchini Kenya kwa muda mrefu kwamba maafisa wa polisi wanashambuliwa lakini pia 
uh, watoto wanashambuliwa, wanafunzi wanashambuliwa na uh, watu wanakuwa wana imani sana 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 huko Baringo. Hebu sikiliza wakenya tu vile wamezungumzia kuhusu William Samoe Ruto kumpeleka uh, kumpeleka watu huko Haiti uh, uh, kwenda kudil na mafis, uh, magaidi wakati hapa kwake mambo sio mazuri hata kidogo. Alafu tuendelee. Haiti there are, there are countries much stronger than us who could have intervened than instead of who could have intervened first um those criminal elements in haiti first of all i think they don't need police they need soldiers i think that the, the kenyan police force is a force that we have we have faith in it and there's no reason why we should we should doubt their their capacity First of all, I mean, uh, what interest would we have to be in uh, in Haiti as a third world country that is over 12,000 kilometers away that uh, many of our officers don't even understand, I mean, don't even know French or Creole in terms of even communicating with the Haitians. It would be a problem. And even in terms of training and uh, preparation to engage, in such a complex security situation uh, where there's urban warfare with the uh, guns. I'm here because I want um, Haitians and black people all around the world to stand up together and lock arms in the spirit of Pan-Africanism. This is the 10th time in 30 years that they've invaded Haiti. And every time that they invade, something bad happens. In 2004, when they invaded Haiti, 8,000 people were massacred. 35,000 children were raped. And on top of that, countless and of tens of thousands... Kuna maji kama hafile umesikia hawa ni baadhi ya wakenya tu na viongozi mbali mbali ambao wanazungumzia kuhusu William Samoe Ruto kuwapeleka watu Haiti wakati hapa njini Kenya kuna insecurity na hapa njini Kenya tunahitaji usalama wa kutosha. Kama huko Sundu uh, kumekuwa na shida, hapa Baringo ndio hiyo shida na sehemu tofauti tofauti ambapo kuna insecurity. Kwa hivyo mimi pia nige mwanadamu William Ruto ningemwambia kwamba badala ya kwanza kudili na mambo ya nje kwa sababu mambo ya nje haituhusu sisi wa Kenya, kwanza tafuta vile utakomesha mambo ya insecurity hapa njini Kenya. Kosundu uko Baringo na sehemu zingine ambazo kuna insecurity. Kwanza uhakikishe kwamba insecurity iko ya kutosha ndio sasa uanze kudili na mambo ingine ya nje. Hapo utakuwa unakubaliana na Wakenya na Wakenya watakuwa wanakupenda zaidi na Azani kama kuna mtu sasa atakuwa na tatizo na wewe tena lakini wakati umeanza kuangalia mambo ya Haiti na unaacha hapa kwa kwa Kenya bila shaka watu watakushangaa kwamba mbona huyu rais wetu uh, anashughulika sana na mambo ya nje kuliko mambo ya sisi wa Kenya hmm. mbona tukiona shida mahali kama Somalia anatumana msaada lakini hapa Kenya ashughuliki na mambo ya Kenya Mbona anatuma maafisa wa polisi ya Haiti na Baringo ndio hao watu wana, wanafunzi wakiwa shule mambo yanaharibika kila siku. Hmm? Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio sababu ambayo Wakenya wamekuwa kimpiga William Msamoe Ruto sana kuwatuma maafisa wa polisi ya Haiti wakati hapa Baringo, wakati Sondu na sehemu zingine bado insecurity iko. Hmm. Anyway hiyo ni maoni yangu tu ningependa kusikia maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini pia usisahau kujiunga na familia ya Jetan Daily Politics kwa kusubscribe Ah uh, kwa sasa bye bye tukutane tena kwa video nyingine hapa hapa na Jetan Daily Politics usiende mbali